Flames fall tonight here inside the Vine Center, 68-63 to Western Carolina. My name is Nick Pierce, joined now by Flames senior guard Devon Marshall. And uh, Devon, you guys uh, had some chances to, to cut into this thing. You cut it from 12 down to as little as two in the second half, but just couldn't finish things off. Um, yeah, it was um, a lot of tough calls the night under the basket. We felt like we should have had some of those calls, but um, just the things we can control, rebound and playing aggressive, how we played in the second half. We need to play more like that throughout the game. Tough shooting night for you from three, two of seven. Uh, what were they doing defensively to slow you down? Um, just face guy, you know, chasing me around a lot, running out at me. So it's just something I have to work on to get better shots. You guys uh, uh, seem like you took a step forward defensively, though, from, from Tuesday night. But uh, I think it, just getting a sense from talking to you guys here afterwards, you feel like there's still a ways to go. Yeah, well, um, we're taking baby steps to get to the goal where we want to be. You know, it's a long season, so it's going to be a slow process. But I feel like we're moving in the right direction. With uh, with them, Trey Sumler, we all knew what he could do coming in. You guys did a pretty good job shutting him down defensively. But then Tanklewitz goes off and has a you know twenty some points. Uh, was that a little bit unexpected with him? Yeah, we uh, we knew he could shoot. Uh, we practiced for him shooting, but uh, he's got lost in the defense a couple of times and got a hot hand and hurt us in there. As you guys turn your sights to uh, UNC Wilmington coming up here on uh, Monday night, what's the what's the mindset of this team now as you try to turn things around? Um, it's a quick layover. You know, we forget about today. Um, just think about the positive things we did and just try to carry it on to Monday and uh, get a win on Monday. All right, Devon, appreciate the time and uh, best of luck to you here coming up here on Monday night. All right, thank you. Hey, we're joined now by the head coach of the Liberty Flames, Dale Lair, after the tough loss here tonight to Western Carolina. And, uh, Coach, your uh, team did a really good job of uh, shutting down somewhere from a defensive standpoint, but uh, they found a couple of other scoring options out there tonight. Where was this game uh, lost for you guys this evening? We, we didn't rebound the ball uh, well enough. We gave up 16 offensive rebounds. And you can't, uh, uh, you can't win if you're going to give them 16 extra, extra possessions. And we had 12 turnovers. So that's 20. Uh, 28 extra possessions that they had and uh, they're a good team they've uh, had some extra games I think they're a little tighter than we were and um, we didn't finish finish plays on the defensive end I thought we we battled and we got after it but we didn't uh, uh, didn't make the play that we needed to we were right there two or three times and uh, uh, you got to be able to, to make big plays plays for each other finish off plays on the defensive end with a rebound and we came up short you guys were down, I think, by as many as 12 and then cut it to, to two a couple of different times. Antoine Burris had a big shot uh, uh, kind of late in the game there to, to cut it to two. Uh, did it feel like you guys were going to be able to have enough to make that run? Yeah, I, I, thought, we, I thought it was our game. And uh, the game was to be had. And, uh, but again, you, you've got to have stops and you've got to have rebounds. And we played better tonight than we did Tuesday. And uh, I think our team's improving. But... Uh, you know that's that sounds a little bit hollow. We've got to we've got to find a way to, to win one of these games. Uh, defensively, uh, do you feel like you took a step forward from from Tuesday night tonight? Yeah, no question. I mean, they shot 37 percent or something like that from the field, and we gave them some open looks for threes. They they uh, uh, that's probably the difference. Uh, uh, but uh, again, you know, when you give them extra possessions, uh, it's not good. As you uh, prepare your team for for Monday night against UNC Wilmington, quick turnaround. Uh, what do the next 48 hours look like? Well, we'll practice after church tomorrow and get prepared for Wilmington. They're coming off a big win at uh, Charleston Southern uh, this week and uh, they won at home again tonight. So they're, they're playing better and we'll have our hands full. We got to play really well. And you can see Eddie beaten by again. I thought, thought we'd uh, seen the last of him after he left the Big South, unfortunately. Yep, that's right. And uh, he's assistant there. And um, so they've got a uh, Buzz Peterson does a great job and uh, they're a good team. And we'll, uh, they beat us here handily. A couple years ago, and uh, we'll, we'll have to play really, really, really well to win. Coach, appreciate the time. Thank you. That's the head coach of the Liberty Flames, Dale Lair, here after the loss tonight to Western Carolina in the Vine Center. For the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.